everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. Hi. <laughs> Hair in my mouth. Good way to start this. <laughs> this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 16th, 2022. I have so many new things going on, including the first chapter of my Matronia book up on Substack. I am working on the second chapter to get that up. And um, as soon as things calm down a little bit, <laughs> I will be able to get up a new newsletter. In addition to that, the Bright Platform has invited me to be a part of their summer series. So my part of that session, face-to-face -face, live conversation, will be on June 6, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. And we're gonna be talking about raising our frequency, alignment, and setting our intentions to be able to manifest what we truly want in this world. Of course, you can get extra content at Patreon for just a dollar a month. And as always, I'm still offering personal readings, Angel Souls, 444.com. Okay, everything's a mess already. <laughs> so there's scattered energy. I had cards flying everywhere. It's a whole thing. I feel like I probably forgot to tell you about something. Oh, Gumroad. I still have courses up over at Gumroad. So get over there and check it out. All the links are in the description box below. So I already have a card out. One of the things that consistently comes up is that with readings, there are different kinds of readings, of course. You hear me say this all the time. We have entertainment readings that are really just good for the moment and then you have to listen <laughs> to some more but you know these readings angelic guidance really is meant to empower us it's meant to open us up it's meant to you know get us looking at what is blocking our energy or what is holding us up from taking what we really want right so the first card that came out and fell on to the floor is energy healing work and then all of these have what they call a prayer. I don't recommend praying to the angels, but you do whatever's right for you. Thank you for sending me healing energy. No, that's why do I keep reading these the way I just want to read them? <laughs> that's not what it says. Sorry, let's back up. Thank you for sending me heal. No, it doesn't say me. Why do I keep saying me? Thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me. That's why I said me, because I my eyes jumped down and I saw all the me's. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> from my own blessings. And for all those around me, thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. This really does feel like people, obviously spirituality has become incredibly trendy and people are just taking a very surface level approach to it and thinking that that's it, that they're doing the work that we all need for everyone to do <laughs> to elevate the collective energy. And this is saying we need to heal. This is the very reason why people have personality disorders. This is why people are suffering from mental illness because we're not careful with how we treat one another. We're not, you know, people are not getting the help that they need. So spiritually speaking, I'm not a professional, I'm not a psychologist or a therapist or anything like that. If you feel like you need a therapist, please check with an expert. Um, but spiritually speaking, it, there's a message here that people think they're doing the work but they're just going through the motions. And so nothing's happening and it's having some sort of detrimental effect. Not only is it like not authentic and it's not really happening, but it's getting people into trouble. So it has this feeling of, I just dropped another car. <laughs> I'm telling you, the energy is a little chaotic here. Um, this, this feeling of people are going to be hit with events, whether they're personal or out in the collective, out in the world, and not be able to handle it. And there's also a message here of being open and vulnerable to conditioning, to brainwashing, to that sort of thing, because we haven't actually healed, okay? Hold on, let me get this card. What do we have? Oh, I think we had this last week. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. See, again, heal so that you can hear your own guidance. Yes, please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way. There it is, keep the ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. Yeah, I don't know. We have 
gone sliding backwards <laughs> in our spiritual progress and you know it, it was it's been a hard few years there's still a lot going on in the world and there's going to be more to come and I think what we're getting the message of is that we're not equipped for what is to come and this really is make or break time so if we are not really doing the spiritual work if we are not really if we're just going through the motions right if we say no no no, I'm better I'm better I'm different now and yet <laughs> you're still someone who wants to cheat on people or you're still somebody who wants to be competitive you still want everyone to admire you the most you know these are all ego things that's different from I want to be successful so that I can take care of myself <laughs> right just to make it clear that's not a bad thing to want to have abundance and prosperity but when you genuinely think, if you can't see the equality in people and you genuinely think that you are better than others, perhaps because you have more money, perhaps because you have more privilege or whatever the deal may be, this is, there, we're coming up on a time where, shall we call it karma? Something's getting delivered here, okay? And yeah, I mean like bad karma. <laughs> I'm not talking about the good stuff. I'm talking about people really having a big wake up call. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. We can only set our intentions from a clear and healed space. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts. That's a big one, too. That's part of the ego getting involved. Grant me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are going to be shifting course here. And... Uh, that's going to be really uncomfortable <laughs> for a lot of people. And I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages there. All right. I'm hearing the word crisis. Okay. So that can mean a lot of different things, but I'm feeling like, I don't know, like unemployment rates might start to go up again. Our systems are broken. They've been broken, but now the cracks are too big to overlook anymore. So, why do I feel like there's going to be another round of, I don't, uh, what I'm going to say is people are going to have a hard time finding work. I don't know if it's like a shit, I'm trying to pinpoint what this is because I don't want to give, you know, just my interpretation of it and plant seeds of suggestion to put fear in people. That's not, that's not what I want. We're more resilient now than ever. So, if anything like that should occur... Um, we're prepared for it. <laughs> there are construction projects going on all around my home and I had to stay in for you know, most of that because there's, I mean, there's really nowhere to go. You can't go outside uh, and it's so loud and what have you. So I have become an expert at cozying up at home and making the most of it. I bet you have too, <laughs> right? And that's why I'm recording this really late at night because they have gone home and now I can actually do this. Um, so we are resilient. We will work our way around it. There's going to be, I just want to call it a wake up call. Like this whole, you know, everything that's happened in the past few years was meant to wake us up and for us to get our priorities straight. What ended up happening, people short circuited and it wasn't just, you know, trying to hoard things, but look at YouTube. What kind of reading started to become very, very prevalent during that time? Ones that feed on your insecurities and fear. What you need to be aware of. You know, and it's, it's time for us to really realize that. What do we gravitate towards? Do we want instant gratification or do we truly want to transform? Yeah, transformation is hard. <laughs> I'm trying to do it every day. And a lot of times I fail. And I just have to wake up the next day and try again, you know. And none of us are perfect. We're all in this together. We need to wake up. We need to stop overlooking bad behavior or making excuses for it. Um, and then there's the overcorrecting where people just hate just to hate or always playing victim. You know, all that thing that we talk about all the time. And Archangel Michael is coming in here and saying, get the clarity. Cut away the nonsense reboot <laughs> right reboot and get rid of the old programming now for everybody that might be something different if you grew up in a very rough household as a child for example or um you know god forbid but 
you're going to have a certain way of thinking. You're going to have a certain way of perceiving things. And, you know, instead of taking it out on everybody and maybe getting involved in things that are not good for you or good for others because you think, what's the point? May as well. There's a whole other existence beyond the physical here. What's the point? That's the point. Don't allow this physical existence to drag you down so much that you lose touch with who you really are, right? Just because density consciousness, things are not going the way that you would like, number one, it doesn't mean that they can't improve, but there is your whole collective soul to consider, right? And to remember that this is just one storyline, okay? You, you don't have to um, give up on the whole because this one iteration of your soul maybe isn't going as planned or you think it's not going as planned, but really it is. <laughs> okay. So then we have you and your loved ones are safe. See, we are acting out of fear, acting out of fear. And it says, dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. And you can name your loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a helpful, happy life. This is what we're working towards trying to be healthier. Yeah, I'm hearing path to power. A lot of people are taking all these different paths to power. This would be that kind of thing where people who are trying to be too controlling, it's going to fall apart for you. <laughs> it's not going to be great. Um, people are waking up to, yeah, they're saying control structures. Um, whether that's in your personal life or out in the world, uh, people are going to start fighting back. They're going to start standing up. And I'm not talking like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to interpret what's coming up here because it's like the people are standing up. I'm not in any way, shape or form encouraging people to act stupid. Okay, and stupid is like, don't do anything illegal. Okay, no, 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 that's not what we're doing here. But people are starting to point it out and say, hey, that's not, that's not cool. You know, like, hey, there's so many, we, we've gotten lulled into this sense of everything will be more peaceful if we just don't stir it up, if we just don't speak up, if we just allow it to be, it'll work itself out. No, it's not, okay? If it was gonna do that, I would have done that by now. <laughs> it's a hot, stinky mess, okay? So we need to start with ourselves. Really, th th what it's gonna, be this week I think and what's going to happen for a lot of us as individuals it might be one of those things where you wake up in the morning and you go <gasps> because something some memory gets unlocked or something maybe that's a problem in your life right now you have the clarity of Archangel Michael coming through cutting through the nonsense and it's right there it may not be what you want to see um, I'm getting a sick feeling. So for some people, it might be, please get with a therapist if you need to. It could be um, abuse or trauma or something that comes up. And for others, it's sort of like waking up and going, uh, I don't need to be controlled by this. Or some of you might get some of your most brilliant ideas at this time. Run with it, okay? <laughs> it's not bad across the board. It's just, it's cutting the nonsense. It's not... It's not accepting the old way anymore, okay? All right, let's get a couple of cards here. All right, that should do it right there. What? Give us more practical advice here. Four of Michael, all right. So this is the give it a rest already. So that's what I'm talking about. Like you get this kind of moment of, I've been heading in the wrong direction or the direction I was in served me for who I was back then, <laughs> but I've come through a lesson or I've transformed or the world is different now. Do you really want to do the same work? Do you, I mean, I don't know. For me during the pandemic, I really wanted to settle down suddenly. <laughs> I think I have some astrological transits that are feeding into that too, into my blueprint. But um, suddenly I was like, you know, I've always been that person that didn't want to commit to a city or, you know, anything. I just, I need my freedom, you know, but now I'm like, no, it could be worth it to be a part of a community and not feel like I always have one foot out of the state, <laughs> right? Or, you know, to settle down and, you know, 
whatever, whatever, I'm still defining what security and stability means to me. You know, what does that look like? So that is the type of thing I think that's cracking open right now. And what the Four of Michael is telling us is that we'll get more clarity from the epiphany. If you lay low, don't keep pushing on things. Use this week to meditate. These are actually timeless readings. So if you're seeing it, <laughs> not in the week that it was released, it's for you, right? So it's time to slow down, meditate. And I think some of you are going to realize, I don't know, some, some people watching this may have had a chip on their shoulder about a love partner. That love partner is never going to leave me. Surprise. Uh, I would never get fired from this job. I've been here forever. Surprise. Okay. I'm not saying people are going to get fired or break up. I mean, some people might, but where have you been a little pompous? Where have you thought <laughs> like there's no knocking me down. I'm <laughs> doing great. Um, for some of you, this is kind of funny. You thought you would never gain weight and then you step on it because you've always been really, really thin and trim and all like trim is, why do I feel like that's such a 1980s term? Yeah, it feels like an 80s term. Sorry about it. Anyway, I've been so trim, and now you're putting on weight or whatever. I could go on and on. So rest the messaging that's coming through for you. Sit with it and see where you need to go with it. It says insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. So again, there could be factors, things happening that could be affecting the industry that you work in could be turning the tables, could be changing things a little bit here. And just rushing ahead and trying to fix it, it's not gonna do. <laughs> that's, that's not the gig, okay? We have to, you have to heal. It is that energy healing work. You know, don't forget about that part of you. If you take care of your mental, your mental, emotional, and physical body, you need to take care of your spiritual self too. And take it, when I say take it seriously, don't just pick up a book on manifestation and say, oh, this is it. It feels so magical. And you're getting a little bit of a hit, uh, a high, a spiritual high off of it. But you're not really doing anything to help evolve yourself or to find your light again and to contribute that light. We need that now. So no more nonsense, right? Okay. Ace of Gabriel, co-create the next chapter of your life. So we have a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. I don't think I said this at the beginning of the video, but I'm coming up with a whole Archangel series on Bright. And you're going to, if you sign up for it, you're going to be sitting with me, an angel medium, and we're going to go through a meditation and connect with Archangels together. Okay. Unless, I mean, unless there's some technicality why we can't do that, but if that should change, I will let you know. But right now... The plan is to have an Archangel series. We connect with the Archangels with me, guiding you. We do this together. You have your experience and then we can talk about it. Okay. So if you're interested in that, when it is, you know, up and on sale, I will have the link in the description box. But this says a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. It's time to look at things differently. What are your real priorities? I'm telling you, this could be depends on who you are and depends on how deep in your ego you are. If you were somebody who thrives off of shallow things, this is going to be a rough time for you. You're not going to understand what the world is turning into. And yet for others who feel like you maybe have been trapped in a toxic situation or um, you've taken on a toxic mentality or you've taken on a fearful mentality, feeling powerless, you're getting your power back. And that is amazing. You are co-creating the next chapter of your life. That's what Gabriel helps you do. This is also about conception. Right? So if you're not looking to get pregnant, um, just, just remember that. Uh, or this could be a creative project that really starts taking off. But how does it? You don't push on it. You rest first. You're doing your healing. Do your spiritual work. Doing your spiritual practice. And if you are, you know, if you just have a way of doing things, maybe try something new. And then come back to manifesting, setting your intentions with a fresh perspective, a fresh open heart, right? Or, um, you know, if you are just, maybe you can't find your peace. That, once you do that, once you give yourself a chance to relax on that, that's when doors open 
and you can find the next step forward. Okay. Let's see here. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit, so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's been kind of crazy. I will say though, I am still running ahead of schedule on personal readings. So again, angelsouls444.com if you would like one, an Akashic Records reading or an angelic reading. Ooh, there it is, it flew right out. And it is chocolate. Nourish your body and soul. The number is 13, reduces to four. And that's what this is about as well. Gabriel's all about nurturing, okay? So take care of you. We are running on empty right now. And if we don't replenish ourselves, okay, and get grounded, do that toxicity clearing. And when you do an energy clearing, don't do it from the perspective of, oh my gosh, everybody else has dirtied my energy and I have to clean myself. <laughs> How pretentious, okay? No, self-righteous the whole bit. I got opinions, okay? <laughs> no, that's not what we're talking about here taking accountability for what you allow into your energetic field and saying, okay, I am choosing to change this. I am choosing to clear it away and not take on everybody else's stuff, but know that I create my own stuff as well. And I'm going to, you know, start moving forward and turning that corner. So we're going to leave it there. <laughs> I'm sending you all so much love and take care.